Hello and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Pisces in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter for February 2020. Okay, let's see. Pisces. Oh, that's interesting. Pisces, you're going within. A lot of you are. Okay. It's like, like, it's like you try to find your, I just heard, okay, it's, you're trying to find your center. Mm. So something was going on, Pisces, that had you out of your path. Something that was very confusing for you. And... It was also, yeah, I, again, I'm hearing it, 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 this, whatever this is, was taking you out from your, from your, from your path. Yes. Okay. Pisces. Two more shuffles for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Yeah. You're, you're going within to find the happiness that you have within. You do not need anyone or nothing really to make you happy. Yes, you have to have that happiness within you. So there, you're going there within to find happiness. Your happiness, what makes you happy? Okay, we're ready. Pisces, one, two, three. <laughs> On the bottom of a deck, you have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> this is a lot of love. A lot of love. You're wishing upon a love. <laughs> That's what I heard. Okay. Some of you are praying for love. For something new. For a soulmate. For something strong. Something true. Some, something genuine to come to enter your life. Okay. Yes, a lot of you are in this energy at this time. Let's see. Pisces, first card for you is the Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. So, so there was an ending for you also. Because for all Zodiac signs, there was an ending. And it is here for you also the Devil Energy. My goodness. The King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The death card. That was an ending. Someone here is crying for this ending that has occurred. Uh, the same story. Page of Cups. Three of Wands. And the Three of Cups. Uh -huh. I want to clarify the Three of Cups here. The Three of Cups for Pisces, please. The Three of Cups for Pisces. Queen of Swords. So this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again, but we do have a couple here. Okay. Wheel, Wheel of Fortune. Five of Wands. The Empress. One more. The Sun card and the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So this could be a reconciliation, definitely a reconciliation. Or the story, or you are going to meet someone new, okay? You are, or you are already t talking to someone new here. Yes, you are already communicating Okay, because th th these energies are also um, communication, okay? So I'm getting that a lot of you are communicating with someone you, maybe th uh, online. And this, this, new, this connection, I feel that this is a new connection, is, um, is really bringing you happiness, yeah? And joy. And some kind of sense of peace. Sense of peace.
for Pisces. Mm -hmm. I feel that <clears throat> for those of you that this message resonates, that you are talking to someone new, I feel that you are um, heading towards, uh, uh, an, uh, like you're heading towards, um, how you say that? When something is, um, <laughs> the four of wands. I don't know, Pisces. I'm getting that this person that you're talking to, this new person, maybe things are going to move slowly, yes. But as I said earlier, you feel so much like peace, contentment, harmony. I feel that this relationship is going to go towards the four of wands commitment, okay? But it's going to take some time here. But you don't, it's like, you're not in, you're not in a rush. I don't feel that you're rushing. I do not feel that. You are more just enjoying the moment and uh so you have you you in the past were in you were involved in a toxic relationship in the past okay yeah and you see and you feel the difference with this new person so you do not mind taking things slow. You have a lot of hope for this new connection. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Let's clarify the devil. Uh, the devil for Pisces. Uh, whoa. That's your energy. Someone was codependent on you because of money. Or you were codependent on them because of something. But as I said earlier, this is changing. Maybe you, maybe you were just codependent on the idea of a commitment with this person. Or this person was dependent on that idea with you like you know building and expanding and getting married and having children and yeah but i feel for those of you that this resonates you have let go of that you have let let go of that uh, obsession yeah you were holding very tight a lot of you were holding very tight yeah well, maybe Pisces, you felt this was the one. You were sure 100% that this was the one. So that's why you were holding so tight. But this, 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 this brought, not only this, but yeah, also this energy uh, it was not healthy. It was not healthy. And this energy had to transform. So what I'm getting in this relationship that a lot of things were done or said or whatever that slowly, slowly led you to, to slowly, slowly like release. You, you're not, you were not holding so tight towards the end of this relationship. So there was an ending. Did I say that? And someone here feels left out in the cold. Someone really feels, yeah. The death card with the five of pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. This is clearly unending. Okay. Let's see. Let's clarify this here. And the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Whoever was left behind is really. They're really in their feelings. Crying. Why did things have to turn this way? Um, there's a lot of regret. We have the magician and the eight of pentacles. You are you are concentrating on yourself, on your career. You're you're leaving behind confusion. You do not want to be confused anymore, Pisces. You do not want to engage in this toxicity. You don't. Yeah, what did I say? 
you're leaving this behind, this confusion, this toxicity. Maybe you were dealing with someone that was um, a drinker or they were using drugs or they had a lot of con uh, 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 like codependent issues. Uh, yeah, you're leaving this behind. Maybe this is you because whatever I say can go the other way around. Maybe this is you that you were codependent on something and uh, the person that you were dealing with just left. They left. They could not deal with this codependency of yours, okay? Because I'm getting that it was not healthy. Not for you, not for them. Vice versa, okay? okay let's see. Let's see where you're heading towards, Pisces. Where are you heading towards, Pisces? Even though wounded, you are, yes, page of uh, wands. Even though wounded, you're leaving, but you are, you have scars. But then again, you're so passionate with the ace of wands and the page of wands. You're so passionate for this new beginning that, yeah. There is a lot of passion that is emerging from within you. And I feel this is going on because you were for a very long time stagnant. Like there was no movement, no nothing. And you decided to move. And as soon as you decided to move, the energy started to shift. You, you released a burden, Pisces. You released a burden. And I feel that you this burden was this person, okay? Heading towards your wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. No, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be, but this is a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay? Again, I'm getting here. This is a very specific message. Okay? Someone here is deciding to go in rehab. I feel that this person was an alcoholic. Strongly, I feel that. And they decided to enter into this um, place, how you call them, yes, to, 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 to cleanse, to clean themselves so they can be with you, to have a stable relationship with you. Vice versa, Pisces, okay? Now, let's see. The magician. The magician for Pisces. Yeah. You're manifesting stability. And you're moving, you're moving fast. Because I feel that you are, as I said earlier, you were, you were for a very long time in this energy of stagnation. So you have this urge, like, and, and, and you're moving fast. You are moving fast. Now with the Nine of Swords, let's see. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Mm. Mm -hmm. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Mm. This person is going within. They're realizing who you are, that you are a soulmate. Leo energy strongly here, okay? Virgo, Leo. This person, as I said earlier, is going within and they realize that you are their soulmate. Maybe they were refusing that in the past or they did not want to see it or they could not see it. Okay, it's, that's better. They could not see it. Eh, come on. Yeah. There is an emperor here that was juggling... An emperor that was juggling. Okay, let's see. Oof. Okay, the strength card. For Pisces. Yeah. Yeah. Someone wants to um, to come towards your way f uh, to start something new with you. This could be someone from your past or this is someone new. But I'm getting for a lot of you. Let me clarify that. Is this something new? Is this new? 
for Pisces, please. Is this new energy for Pisces? Yes, for a lot of you, this is new. Okay, this is new love coming in, a new soulmate. Mm -hmm. You're taking you're taking a leap of faith here. Your intuition, you're listening to your intuition. You're healing. Or you are already healed here. You are already healed because you're holding the Ace of Swords. So you are already healed and you are uh, prepared for this. You are prepared for this new connection that is very promising. Okay? Yeah. Let's go back to this sadness. Let's see what's going on here with this death card here and this ending. Oh. And Pisces energy here. This energy could be for those of you that you were left behind, okay? I'm also getting Cancer energy here. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Again, someone is like someone is leaving the pain. Someone is leaving the pain from the past and is heading heading towards happiness. That's the main message here in, in this reading for February. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm getting that you are going, a lot of you are going to be surprised. Uh, did I say that? I don't know. Sorry if I'm repeating. But it's like you're, you're leaving a, a past situation and it's like you will not, you will be so surprised that you are going to meet this person. You're going to be, I, I cannot believe it. I thought that I would only feel that with this past person. And now I'm here in the present <clears throat> meeting this soulmate that is even stronger. Our connection is stronger than the one in the past that I felt or thought that was the one. You know what I mean? So I'm getting a surprise for you here. Okay. Let's see what advice will come through from spirit for you, Pisces. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for February 2020. Pisces. Give back. And one more. A child's love. We also have ground yourself and I want to read that and let go. I feel that these are very strong messages for you. Okay. Let's. Okay. So it could be that a lot of you have children. Not a lot of you, but a couple of you have children from another marriage or another relationship. And I'm um, getting that this child was uh, was a ver uh, was a source of 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 healing for you. So you, this I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting again that message for this person that I'm, I was talking about before, someone with um, with codependency issues like someone that was using something alcohol drugs I don't know I feel that this child of theirs or their partner's child really like opened their eyes and they're like okay I have to do something about my condition. I have to change, I have to rehab, you know, to go to rehab because of this child, okay? This is not for all of you, of course. This is a specific message. So, the love between a parent and child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts. <laughs> I just got the message that someone, like, I, I'm also getting unconditional love here from this energy, from this card. Hmm? Give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectations of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. So your Pisces, you are like that. You are very giving, like Virgos are very giving. You are also very giving, Pisces, okay? And I feel that that would be something that will rejuvenate you, like offering, yes? Offer, it could be anything, it could be anything, anything, okay? 
I feel that this will boost your your spirit. Will bo like yeah. Will bo boost your your light. So, ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you are ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with a divine source. And this is for those, those, of you, those of you that have let go of something. Yes? Okay. So, let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit, as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. Okay? So for a lot of you also, what I'm getting here is that you were protected while you were dealing with this past toxic person. There was a reason why the things were not moving forward between the two of you. Because obviously there's something better for you in the future, in the near future. Okay, Pisces? This is what I got for you. If this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus and your Jupiter. Bye. Bye-bye, Pisces. <laughs> Bye.